All right, everybody. Okay, what I want to talk about once again, uh, because I've talked about this before, I decided to shoot this in front of the side of my house because the weather's nice and uh, I thought it'd make it easier that way I wouldn't have to set up studio lights or anything like that. So I figured I'd shoot that over here. It's kind of quiet here, except for when the AC, central AC turns on. You might be able to hear the fan, but so it's not going on right now. But anyway, um, Sony FX30 and I believe the FX3, but Sony for sure, FX30 for sure, has uh, a selection in the menu called Anti-Flicker. Now what is Anti-Flicker? Anti-Flicker is for when you're shooting video and you don't want to, and you're shooting like in the studio and you're using lights that are plugged into the AC outlet. AC outlet is alternating current and believe it or not, your eye don't see it, but your lights in your house, even studio lights that you plug into the wall, they flicker. They flicker like 120 times uh, per second, okay? 60 cycles. So, here's the thing. When these things flicker, your camera can pick that up if you don't have the right shutter speed. On the Sony FX30, however, if you're shooting, let's say, 60, 60 frames per second, and you have your shutter speed at 125, you're going to notice the banding on your screen, especially when you scroll through the video rather quick. You'll see the banding rising up and down the screen. Okay, that happens uh, because number one, it's not 120 uh, shutter speed. So what you're getting is 125, an odd number at the end. So what you want to do is you want to turn on the anti-flicker in the menu options, and there you can turn the dial to adjust the shutter. You can do a precise shutter speed. You could do like uh, 119.9 is what I set mine to, or you could do 121.3 uh, or 121.9. Uh, believe it or not, those work very well uh, when you're shooting 60 frames per second and you won't see the banding or anything like that. Uh, you can shoot at like 119.9, but if you want to have some extra quicker shutter speed, you can go 121.3 or 121.9. Those two work great when you're shooting 60 frames per second. When I shoot 30 frames per second, like I am right now, I set mine at 59.9 or 59.8. And that works perfectly. Uh, I see no banding or anything like that. Believe it or not, if I use, uh, turn off the, um, the anti-flicker and I use a shutter speed of 60 I still can see that banding for some reason which is really odd because I have never seen that out of the cameras happen but I turn the anti-flicker on and I have it at 59.8 I believe that's what it is uh, and I shoot it there and I don't see any banding whatsoever right now I'm shooting outdoors so that won't matter if you're shooting outdoors you don't have to worry about banding or anything like that because the Sun is constant and it doesn't flicker. Uh, not to the point where you would see it anyway. Uh, it is a big ball of fire, but it's bringing light here and it's constant. Now I'll explain why the anti, why the flicker happens uh, on your AC outlet is because alternating current is, if you look at a scope, uh, the value goes all the way up and then it comes all the way down. When it's coming down, the lights are off because there's no electricity and then it's coming back up again and coming back down. It's doing it really fast, like 120 times per second, so you don't see that. But when it's at a down cycle, which is going into the negative, the light is off. When it's going to the positive, the light is on. So the light is moving on and off uh, so fast your eye can't see it, but it can be picked up when you're recording video because you get your shutter and all that stuff, and so uh, you'll be able to see the light. You'll actually be able to see a light turn on and off, on and off, on and off. And I'll show you that in this video, uh, how that works. But anyway, those are the frame rates and the shutter speeds that I set. I always use the anti-flicker when I'm shooting indoors, studio, with lights, stuff like that. However, when you're shooting at 120 frames per second, yes, this camera has a capable capability of shooting at 120 frames per second now you have to use a faster shutter speed because you always have to set your shutter speed double 
what the frame rate is. So if your frame rate is 30 frames per second, you need to have 60 shutter speed or quote close, but the anti-flicker is 59.8. If you're shooting 60 frames per second, then you have to have it at like 119.9 or 121.3 or 121.9, something like that around that area. 119.9 works best for me. I don't need anything faster, but you can shoot at 121.3, no problem. So now when you're going up to a higher frame rate, like 120 frames per second, now you have to use like a 240 shutter speed to have that double, right? At 240 speed, uh, 240 speed shutter, shutter speed, you are going to get flicker no matter what. You'll see it. You probably won't see it when the video is playing properly, but if you scrub through the video um, really quick, uh, you know, the playhead, how you can scrub through it really fast, you'll see the banding. And I'm going to show you that in this video as well, how you'll be able to see that. So, there really is no shutter speed uh, unless you set it at like 119.9, I think, or 121.3 or something like that. If you left it there, uh, you might not see the flicker at all even scrubbing through, but that's going to be a very slow shutter speed. You could probably get away with it at 120 frames per second, depending if you don't move the camera around too much or if your subject isn't moving around too fast. If you're, if you're talking like this or just doing slow movements, it probably won't be so choppy you know, showing the blur or anything, but I would say bring it to one, um, 239.9 using the anti-flicker. 239.9 seems to work pretty good, uh, with the less flicker as possible. There is still some there if you scrub through it with the playhead real fast, but normally when the video is played, it's not going to be played that way, so you're going to be actually uh, not seeing it as the video is playing and the whole reason to go 120 frames per second is to go in slow motion to begin with so the video is going to be playing slow and it won't be as noticeable if noticeable at all so I hope this helps all of you who are wondering about this there's no video on this at all and there's no way to get a chart for using the anti flicker for depending on what frame rate you use from Sony they haven't made one they should I even tried calling technical support uh, and those people they go by cue cards and stuff like that they don't know anything uh, so they're not going to be really any helpful unless you got a hold of a Sony expert like an engineer or something like that they might be really help you but I figured it out by trial and error just by setting up the camera and trying different frame rates with different shutter speeds uh, to see what I get and absolutely no flicker whatsoever shooting 60 frames per second at 119.9 shutter speed on the anti flicker with the anti flicker on or 121.3 or 121.9 those work fine I don't see any even if I bring the playhead scrubbing it through I don't see any flicker at all or banding so you can try that higher shutter speeds are better uh, it's not a hell of a lot uh, between 119.9 and 121.3 it's not really marginal so you could just leave it at 119.9 and it's going to work fine so like I said I hope this helps you and uh, if you have any questions you can leave some uh, a question in the comment below and uh, if you like to subscribe you click on subscribe click on like button as well so clicking on subscribe will alert you when I come up with another video and thank you for watching